What up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm talking about the Patagonia Mars system. The Patagonia Military Advanced Regulatory System, Mars. What is Mars? Well, Patagonia back in 2004 developed Mars for the military. This is a typical thing that companies would do. They get contracts for military gear. All military gear is developed through contracts. The military doesn't actually have their own factories to produce all the clothing that they use. So even dating back probably World War I, but definitely World War II, um, the military would source out all of its production. So that's why you have companies like Willis and Geiger, um, Avarex even makes real military gear, even though they make civilian gear. Um, there's like so many different companies, so many defunct companies now. But more recently, 2004, Patagonia got involved. I did show this jacket on my other Patagonia collection video that you can go watch, go find that in my channel. I show my whole Patagonia collection. For those of you that don't know me, I am a Patagonian nerd. This video goes out to all my fellow Patagonian nerds. Um, we just love the brand. Why do we love the brand? Well, I'll tell you why I love the brand. Because Yvonne Schwinard is a G. They help the planet. The product is super, super quality. They put money into environmental activism. They're promoting the dams coming down to help the salmon. I got people texting me here on my phone. I record this on my iPhone. You know why? I want to pump out content. And the only way I'm going to get it done is by recording it on my iPhone, doing one take, no edits, and get it done. I might actually throw some edits into this one because I'm going to show you some close-ups of this product. So basically, that's why, anyway, that's why I love Patagonia. Patagonia is a super rad company in my eyes. I snowboard in the gear. Um, I have a crazy collection of gear. I'm going to do another video on how to date Patagonia for you guys. I talk about that in my collection video too, but I'm going to do a whole video on just how to date it from tags, the date tags, other details. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably put this one out before that video comes out. Okay. Patagonia Mars system. So the most recent companies that got involved in producing military gear of any note or interest to me is Patagonia and Arcteryx. Patagonia being a U.S. company produces for the U.S. military. Arcteryx being a Canadian company produces for the Canadian military. It makes total sense. Now, as, in, as with all military clothing, you can't just go out and buy this stuff. You got to get it being in the military. You have to get it as your uniform. This stuff is uniform for combat, uniform for uh, expeditions. This stuff is like um, clothing meant for uh, a serious purpose here. You can't just go to your local Patagonia store or Arcteric store and buy it. Um... So it is super rare, even though it's not that old. The Mars system was developed in 2004 and they've been putting out military gear ever since. There's so many different pieces. Most of it is just typical olive drab colorways or gray brown colorways. Um, and you can find a few random rare pieces in Digicam. I don't know if there's other cam. I'm gonna search the web and see what else I can find and put some stuff on here for you. Um, but there's not a lot out there. It's pretty rare. I seen somebody at the Rose Bowl recently selling pants. They're like a tactical kind of almost like a ski pant. Um, they were super cool. I think he was asking 80 to 100 bucks on those pants. Um, but I've only ever seen a couple pieces of the camo. Oh, there was one of those. I saw somebody had one of those brown zip up fleeces uh, with like the black pockets. That one went for like 400 bucks or something. Um, so you don't see it very often. And when you do see it, it gets snapped up super quick. So I thrifted this one. This one is not dated, but it's pretty rad. It actually says, I'll show you the tags, but it's a Gen 3 wind shirt. So like when you, when if you'd see this on the rack, you'd think like, oh, it's just a regular old Digicam wind shirt. But um, the quality of the Patagonia stuff is much better than any other manufacturers that are producing for the military. 
super cool shirt. Probably paid like five bucks in the thrift store for, for this, which is random. I don't even thrift that much. I get my clothes from other sources. And luckily enough, I thrifted this one. Crazy come up. But this next piece is my favorite. By the way, if you're watching this, if you already watched five minutes of this video, please go like this video. And if you like it that much, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, this is like my favorite Patagonia piece that I own. It is super dope. I got it from um, Foul Play Vintage. Shout out Ray Rizzle for this one. Yo, super stoked to get this. I know when I posted that collection video, you hit me up. By the way, so many people hit me up when I posted that collection video. You guys are sending me product that you have or you'll like, you'll send me a, um, a layup on an item you've seen on Instagram somebody's selling or on, on eBay or just something that you found. And so many people are hitting me up saying like they're stoked because they learned so much from that video. And now they're like way more hype on Patagonia. That stuff makes me super stoked. So if you ever want to hit me on the DMs on Instagram, follow me, hit me on the DMs. I always reply. I love chatting it up with everybody. So find me there. Okay, on to my favorite Patagonia piece. My other favorite Patagonia piece is my um, deep pile hooded rhythm, the black one. Um, but I think I like this one more even. Okay. So this is it. Patagonia Mars deep pile. I'm going to show close ups of this. This is like the nicest, fleeciest thing. You're, this, is a, this is a reversible snap key. But I have a lot of reversible snap keys and this one is way better. Like the, just the pile is so much better. And I've seen them in other colorways. You can get with the brown liner. Um, but this one's more sought after. This one's super dope. It matches the camo so good. And then check this out. So as in all reversible snap keys, show you the reversi. It has the camo pocket cover. Like so, like so, yeah. This thing is just sick, I love it. It's like the craziest piece. I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna put it on for you guys just to show you. Um, but yeah, super stoked that Ray hit me with this guy because like I said, this thing is rare. This thing is rare, it's fleecy, it's like bear hug. Got the sick um, Digicam pocket. Um, yeah, fired up on this piece. Fired up on the Mars stuff in general. It's so rad. Like apparently Ray's uncle, if I remember that correctly, what you told me, were, was in the Marine Corps and bought this off the base Marine Corps store. So you had to be on the base. You probably had to like show your ID to buy this stuff. Super limited quantities because it's higher quality and the, the officers had to actually go buy it. You would get issued a uniform, but you're gonna get like the baseline uniform stuff. It's not gonna be the high quality stuff. If you wanna get the G stuff, you gotta go buy it yourself. Apparently it's well worth it, get gear like this. Um, what else can I tell you about the Mars system? Oh, for the Arcteric stuff, if you're ever in Canada, in Vancouver, Canada, you can go to the outlet store. They have an outlet store near their offices in North Vancouver, where sometimes, depending on time of year or what's going on, what they have, they'll have the Canadian military gear in that outlet store and you can get it for a steal. And that stuff is super sick too. Shout out Arcteryx. Shout out Ellie, my good friend, Ellie works for Arcteryx. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to share with you about the Patagonia Mars stuff. I've seen there's a few websites online selling some dead stock overstock product from this line. None of it's camo, it's all straight grays and olive drabs and stuff like that. Still super cool gear, search it, you can go find it. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you check out my other videos. Check out my Patagonia collection video because I talk about everything I have. I, had, I didn't have this one at that time, but I had lots of other cool stuff. Check it out like this. Like this big tag, deep pile. Check it out. Catch you on the next one.